get on my grind, ain't no more stressing. Can't nobody stop me from my blessing. Find the finest, got designer on my head, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ambi. So in this video, I want to kind of show y'all and explain how I utilize first aid throughout my preclinical years to do well on the USMLE exam. So every medical student knows that first aid is the holy Bible of every, for every medical student. You know what I'm saying? It's the Quran. It's the, it, it, it's the key. You see what I'm saying? And unfortunately, a lot of people don't use it right. Like, I couldn't even imagine like going into my dedicated studying and buying first aid and saying, oh yeah, now it's time to, now it's time to read this book so I can do well on this exam. By that point, you're already behind the ball. So first of all, when you buy first aid, I really recommend every student just to read like the how to use this book in the beginning of the book. You know what I mean? I have first aid like since day one and I was just trying to like, I wasn't really using it right. And it wasn't until I read the how to use this book, then I kind of figure out like, okay, like this makes sense. So if you read the how to read this book in the beginning of the, of the book, they talk, like they recommend you chopping the spine, getting the book hole punched, and then basically putting everything from your class notes, lecture notes, and consolidating everything in one place. And if you use first aid with your class notes, with your lecture notes, what you will soon realize is that you are learning the book and memorizing the book without even trying. Does that make sense? And by the time you get to your dedicated studying, you're gonna be so much, you're gonna be light years ahead of people who just bought the book, you know, the weekend before and saying, okay, it's time, let's do this. So in this video, I'm just gonna give y'all, show y'all, like show y'all how I utilize first day with my class notes, with my lecture notes and how I basically consolidated everything to the point where when I was studying for my class tests, when I was studying for my class quizzes, I was using first aid as the backbone and then everything that wasn't in first aid from my class notes was added into it. And by that point, I basically had the book memorized without sitting down and trying to memorize the book. I was learning efficiently using first aid. See, the thing about first aid, first aid helps organize your thoughts. You see what I'm saying? And when you use first aid, and organize your thoughts in the, in the sense of they write the book for the USMLE, your thoughts will be organized for class and moving forward. And at that point, you're working towards step one without thinking about it. You understand what I'm saying? So for example, let's say, you know, you learn about cortisol. If you learn cortisol by yourself and you memorize all of the, you know, the functions of cortisol, you'll learn it well, oh, no big deal. But then if you then get to step one and try to memorize the mnemonics that first aid has to have, you're learning two different things. Versus you learning about cortisol and learning as you learn about it for the first time that cortisol is a big fib. You learn that mnemonic as you learn it. And at that point, every time you need to refer back to cortisol and what cortisol does, you learn the mnemonic in first A so you can boom, 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 A, F, I, G. Does that make sense? So without further ado, we're just going to talk. I'm going to just show you all what I'm talking about. And um, hopefully this helps somebody out there. First A. Y'all, first aid was my best friend. Like, I love this thing so much. But um, without further ado, if, if anybody's ever heard of like how to do well on step one, you've heard of the UFAPS, UFAPS. U, uh, U World, which is the question bank, first aid, Pathoma, sketchy micro, sketchy farm. And I'm gonna do a whole different video on how to utilize UFAPS later. But in this video, we're primarily gonna be discussing first aid. So like I said earlier, I read the how to use this book and it recommended chopping the spine and hole punching it. And let me y'all just show y'all like where I'm talking about, like this section right here, how to use the book. They even tell you like what pens to use that won't smear on the page, like it's crazy. So I chopped the spine and just to kind of show you how it looks like. Okay, so I'm a, for this video, I'm gonna use an example out of our MSK musculoskeletal module and just kind of explain like how as a student I was able to you know efficiently utilize this. So these are my class notes. These are my class notes. Uh, this is the musculoskeletal pathology aka musculoskeletal oncology lecture that we had and these are our learning objectives. My school enough is my school is kind enough to tie every quiz and test question from a learning objective. So I wanted to make sure that every objective 
was answered somewhere in first aid. So if you look at if you look at my page, there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean? So what I would do is I would go through each of those learning objectives there and make sure that somewhere on this page that objective was answered. Do you see what I'm saying? Now the thing about it is like medicine is a is a is a universal thing. Like just because you go to school in Washington or Virginia or Japan, at the end of the day, the medicine is medicine. You see what I'm saying? So 95% of what you're going to learn or what your school asks you to learn is already going to be in the book. Does that make sense? So where you see things that are highlighted and underlined and all of that good jazz, these are the same objectives that my school is asking me to, to, to know. You see what I'm saying? At that point, what I would then do is add extra things that weren't already in first day. You see what I'm saying? So all these little like writings and stuff are like little tidbits that my school expects us to know but first aid doesn't have, you know what I'm saying? Like most medical stu most medical um, curriculums are gonna teach you how to be a clinician, not necessarily just how to take a test. So like next step in management, how to work up the patient, differential diagnosis, all those things that can be tested on your exams, that's what you then add to your own first aid page. But the thing about it is, like when you use first aid as the backbone, at that point, you know what I'm saying? Like. You already, you already like are, are learning, okay, these are the benign tumors, these are malignant tumors. And you're training your brain to organize it like that. You see what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and show you this example. So here, we're um, first aid talking about osteoporosis. You see what I'm saying? And our school, like my, my school wanted us to know a lot more than this little paragraph of on osteoporosis. You know what I mean? At that point, because you've hole punched your first aid, you can then add your own osteoporosis notes and make sure that you have everything your school expects you to know about it all connected in the same place. You see what I'm saying? And everything then gets consolidated where as I'm studying for my quiz, I'm studying for my test, I'm boom. I'm reading first aid. You know what I mean? I'm reading what is important. I'm reading the extra tidbits that my school wants me to know. I'm reading my own notes where it's like, I bet. You feel me? Like... Boom, 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 boom. And by the time I do this three, four times, like I know, I know exactly. Oh, I got lost. <laughs> but by the time I do that three or four times, like I memorize first aid because I'm just studying for class. You do that for every organ system that you that you're given, and before you know it, like by the time you get to your final exam. You know what I mean? Your front to back, everything that's there, you've already learned. The things that your school didn't talk about that's in first aid, you're aware of. You know what I mean? And you've basically memorized the book without trying to sit and memorize the book. You see what I'm saying? Um, I didn't really use first aid in my foundational, you know, like the biochem, pathology, immunology. And it's a lot harder to do because your curriculum would jump around and the pages would jump around. But... I wish I had because the mnemonics just make too much sense. Like it was so it was so difficult for me to memorize the interleukins and what they did. And then when I saw hot T-bone steak, my life was changed, you know? But imagine if I learned it that way. And my recommendation to any medical student is you don't even have to like as in detail write everything in first aid like I had and have everything together like that. But at the end of the day, before you move on to a new subject matter, Refer to first aid and see what first aid has to say about it. You may see a diagram, you may see a mnemonic, you may see a picture that just makes so much sense. You're like, ah. And by the time you, when you learn it that way with first aid, by the time you get to your de the dedicated, you already got it. Like I used first aid 2016 to take the United States at USMLE in 2018 because I knew that book so well. Like I, my, my first aid 2018 that my, our school ended up giving us, it was just complimentary but all my notes from class from lectures from Pathoma, from sketchy everything was put in there and by that point i only had to refer to that book you see what i'm saying so that's that um if you have any questions please let me know i really i really think it just makes the most sense because at the end of the day you're gonna use first aid to study for step right so you might as well familiarize yourself with the content of the book as you go through your preclinical years and not only will it help you then it's going to help you do well in class you know what i'm saying you one in my class like in my classmates we call ourselves first aid connoisseurs and we know it's like they, they ask us hey bro is it a first aid and you know the specific people to ask because you know those people 
no first day. Anywho, that concludes this uh, video. Thank y'all again for checking me out. Again, let me know. I mean, I'm trying to make videos for you know, pre-meds, medical students, whatever. I, it doesn't even matter if you're not in medicine. Whatever knowledge, content knowledge you want, hit me. We outie. Stay hungry, stay humble. Let's get it. I can be a regular pedestrian. I got on my grind, ain't no more stressing. Can't nobody stop me from my blessings. Find the finest, got designer on my headband.